question number 44 this is a nice problem we will take log ln of x is equal to limit n approaching to infinity x by n ln x plus 1 upon r by n i am writing it using this product sign this is x plus n x plus n by 2 x plus n by 3 and so on it was earlier n n by 2 i think you can understand it rather than writing again and again i return it like r by n it is n by r n by 1 n by 2 n by 2 n by 3 and so on so this is the product sign then n raised to the power n i will consider it later in the denominator i will write x square plus 1 upon r by n whole square this is the product of all these terms multiplied by 1 upon r by n in the product form because it is n factorial upon n raised to the power n n factorial is 1 2 3 4 up to n divided by n raised to the power n so i can write it product of r by n now we will write it in the form of summation limit n approaching to infinity x by n summation ln x plus 1 upon r by n divided by x square plus 1 upon r by n whole square multiplied by 1 upon r by n i think we can understand this is product and we know log a into log log a b can be written as log a plus log b similarly this was product of n terms in every product r is moving from 1 to n so i express this product as summation now we are going to convert it into an integration x is independent of n so i'm writing it first then it is integration from 0 to 1 ln x plus 1 upon t divided by x square plus 1 upon t square multiplied by 1 by t this is a curly bracket not fractional part dt now i will take lcm this is tx plus 1 t square x square plus 1 and 1 t will be cancelled so it will become x times 0 to 1 ln 1 plus tx divided by 1 plus t square x square dt now just to make it easier we will substitute tx as z x times it is 0 to x now ln 1 plus z over 1 plus z square and dt is dz over x i can cancel this x because it is with respect to z we are integrating with respect to z now we have to analyze this function this is ln fx we will differentiate it in order to obtain f dash x over fx is equal to is equal to ln 1 plus x upon 1 plus x square this is ln 1 plus x upon 1 plus x square now we are very close now we have to analyze this function we know fx is positive as given in the problem the expression given means 
the expression we can see will be positive. Therefore, fx is positive. So, the sine of f dash x will be decided by this expression. We can see it will be 0 only when x is 1. x is positive and there is only one positive number for which it is 0. It is x equals to 1. So, f dash 1 will be 0. And if x is less than 1, say 0 to 1, then numerator will be bigger than denominator. So, it will be greater than 1. That is why it will be positive. So, f dash will be positive. This is already positive. f dash will be positive for x 0 to 1. When x is 1 to infinity, then numerator will be smaller than denominator. Makes it smaller than 1. Therefore, log will be negative and f dash will be negative. So, the sign scheme of f dash will be like this. 1, where it is positive, this is negative. It gives us an idea about the graph of fx. fx will obtain its maximum at x equals to 1. So, if I sketch a very rough graph of the function, it looks like this. This is at x equals to 1. It means it is increasing for 0 to 1. Therefore, a option is wrong. f half is smaller than f1. So, a option is wrong. B option is right because 2 by 3 is greater than 1 by 3. And C option is also right because function is decreasing for x greater than 1. To obtain the truthfulness of D, we have to do little more calculation. I will rub this part. To verify the correctness of option D, we will use this expression. I will put x equals to 3 and then x equals to 2 and we will subtract them f dash 3 upon f 3 minus f dash 2 upon f 2 is equal to ln 4 by 10 minus ln 3 by 5 which is ln 20 by 30 or 2 by 3 which is negative. As it is negative, therefore f dash by f dash 3 upon f3 is smaller than f dash 2 upon f2. And option is greater. That's why it is wrong option. So the correct answers are B and C. In question number 45, this is limit x approaching to 2 fx into gx divided by f dash x upon g dash x. This is given us as 1. Whereas, numerator is approaching to f2 into g2. As, a both, as both the functions are continuous and differentiable. And g2 is given as 0. So, numerator is approaching to 0. Similarly, denominator is approaching to 0 because of f dash 2 is 0. As it is in the form of 0 by 0, I can apply a L'Hopital. By L'Hopital, it will become limit x approaching to 2 f dash x into g x plus f x into g dash x divided by f double dash x into g dash x plus f dash x into g double dash x. x is approaching to 2. Therefore, f dash x will approach to 0. So, this quantity is 0. Applying the limit, it is f 2 into g dash 2 and f double dash 2 into g dash 2 as it is a non-zero f double dash 2 into g dash 2 whereas f dash 2 is again 0. So, this term will be 0 and g double dash is a finite quantity therefore, I will say it is 0 and this limit is 1. Therefore, f double dash 2 is equals to f2 and f2 is positive as the codomain of f is 0 to infinity, the positive real numbers. Now, f dash 2 is 0 and f double dash 2 is positive. It means x equals 2 is a point of local minima. So, option A is right and therefore, option B is wrong. And C option can be judged here. f double dash 2 is equals to f2. 
not greater than. So, C is wrong and D option is correct because x equals to 2 is one of the root of this equation. That is why the correct answers are A and D. In question number 46, u cap cross vector v, the magnitude is 1 which can be written as magnitude of u cap which is 1, magnitude of v vector is say v into sin theta equals to 1. It means if this is vector u cap and this is vector v, this angle is say theta between them then this length is v sin theta and it is constant. So, the head of vector v will lie on this line. If we consider two dimension, say this is the head p, then p will lie on this line and you will have infinite such vectors. For all these vectors, this length will remain 1. Therefore, for option A and B, we can consider B as the right option and A is the wrong option. To identify the correct one out of C and D or both may be correct, we do not know, we will verify it using the other relations. This is W cap dot U cap cross vector V is equal to 1. Let us write it omega cap u cap cross vector v cos phi equals to 1. These both are 1, therefore cos phi is 1. So, phi must be 0. If phi is 0, means both are like parallel having same magnitude. So, I can say omega cap equals to u cap cross vector v. Now, I will calculate the cross product u vector cross v vector. So, omega cap is equal to i cap j cap k cap, here it is u 1, u 2, u 3, then v 1, v 2 and v 3. Omega cap is i cap plus j cap plus 2 k cap upon root 6. This is equal to now we will move according to the options. In option C, u cap is lying in x y plane. If it is in x y plane, then u 3 will be 0. So, I am doing something for option C only. i cap multiplied by u 2 v 3. This is 0 because u 3 is 0 minus j cap u 1 v 3 plus k cap multiplied by something, I am not writing it. Now, we can see u 2 is equal to 1 by root 6 v 3, u 2 is 1 by root 6 multiplied by v 3 and u 1 is equal to minus 1 by root 6 v 3 minus 1 by root 6 and this is v 3. By this I can say u 1 and u 2 have same magnitude that is why option C is right. Now, for option D should write here u 1 and u 2 are equal in magnitude. Now, let us talk about option D u cap is lying in z x plane. It means this time this one is 0, u 2 is 0. If u 2 is 0, how should I write? It is i cap multiplied by u 1 v 3 minus v 1 u 3. This is for j cap, but first of all we must write for i cap as u 1 u 2 v 3 which is 0 minus u 3 v 2 then plus j cap times or minus j cap times, but I am not going to write it. 
I don't need it. Plus k cap multiplied by u1 v2 minus 0 as u2 is 0. Let us compare then this time u3 is equal to minus 1 upon v2 root 6 and u1 is 1 2 upon v2 root 6 2 upon v2 root 6. The magnitude of u1 is twice magnitude of u3 whereas option says the reverse that's why option D is wrong and the correct answers are B and C.